The holiday season is in full swing here in Liborian. Coming up, we'll look back at the tree lighting ceremony that started it all. If you're looking for that unique gift for a loved one, look no further than the Orion Art Center's Holiday Market. The who's who of Lake Orion came out to the Holly Jolly Folly to enjoy food and music while supporting a great cause. And thousands of people lined the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the annual Light at Christmas Parade. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and more on this edition of Owen TV News. If you're looking for fun activities for the family during the holiday season, there is no shortage of events taking place over the next month or so. Of course, here in Lake Orion, the holiday season officially got underway several weeks ago. On Thursday, November 16th, Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion was transformed into a Hallmark movie as residents came out for the DDA Sing and Stroll tree lighting ceremony. Visitors enjoyed hot cocoa courtesy of cookies and cream and roasted marshmallows over a fire pit. Orion Township librarians read stories to children, and the Lake Orion High School Choir performed holiday carols. This is brought to you by the Lake Orion Downtown Development Authority and its wonderful sponsors, Decorate with Lights, Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, Pork and Pint, Cookies and Treen, um, Haney Farm Bureau and your food dude. Thank you to those sponsors. <laughs> At approximately 6 p.m. families began singing Here Comes Santa Claus as the jolly one himself and his lovely wife made a dramatic entrance. Then Debbie Burgess of Builders Custom Flooring was invited to step into the gazebo to throw the switch to light up the Christmas tree. Three, two, one, Merry Christmas! that it is the kickoff of the holiday shopping season. It's time to um, make sure that our downtown looks like a Hallmark movie, you know, and that we are enjoying ourselves. I'm gonna remind everybody that shopping local makes a huge difference. It makes a difference in our community, not just for the, the shops that you shop, those business owners, but it helps the community because those shop owners invest here. They live here, they shop here too. So please shop local during your holidays. With Christmas just a few weeks away, many of you might be feeling the anxiety that comes with finding that perfect gift for that hard to shop for friend or family member. Well, the Orion Art Center is doing what it can to help you with your shopping this season. On the evening of Thursday, November 16th, the Orion Art Center kicked off its annual holiday market with an opening night reception. Now in its 23rd year, 28 artists provide one of a kind handcrafted items in a wide variety of media. Yeah, there's everything. There's painting, there's a lot of pottery, printmaking, we have tie-dye, um, lots of different ornaments, and um, pretty much every medium is represented here today. Money raised through the sale of the artwork not only goes to the artist, but helps the art center in their efforts in the community, and items range from high-end art to tiny trinkets. Um, it's necklaces, and it is like they're in all shapes, shapes and sizes. Wow, how do you make them? We used um, chimes and we used uh, yeah, yeah, like yarn for um, string. That's awesome. What about you? Do you help make them too? Well, it goes to various um, different endeavors. Right now, we are actually saving to possibly get a new kiln at our pottery studio, so that's one of our big ones we're fundraising for right now. Um, it supports our, you know, our mission of bringing art into the community. We like to go to all the community events, like the tree lighting and 
the Halloween extravaganza and do um, crafts and you know that all costs money we have to pay people to go do the crafts and this helps us be able to provide that art um, for the kids in the area. The holiday market is open Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. through December 23rd. For more information visit OrionArtCenter.org. In 1994 Lake Orion held its last daytime Christmas parade due to poor attendance and low participation. Organizers decided to try a nighttime lighted parade in 1995, and it was a huge success. Since then, the Orion Lighted Christmas Parade has gotten bigger and better every year, due in large part to an annual fundraiser that brings the community together. On the evening of Friday, December 1st, an estimated 400 community members gathered at Galling View at GMC in Orion Township for the 17th annual Holly Jolly Folly. Local businesses and community groups donated items for a silent auction in the dealership showroom, and attendees enjoyed an evening of music and food courtesy of Italia Gardens. It was great. I mean, the, the crew here, 9 o'clock this morning, we were already gunned up, ready to go. Everybody was excited. All the employees helped out, did everything we could do. We got a great crowd here again tonight, and we got a great band. And we got the Lake Orion Choir, and we got a great band tonight. Food's great from Italia Garden, so I look forward to this. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, but we look forward to doing this, and um, it's like a wedding. Every year we get, just keep doing it better and better, and I give all the credit to B Bill Cocainus and his wonderful group of people who put this thing on, but we got a great band tonight, uh, Power Play Detroit, which was voted the number one up-and-coming band in Detroit, pop band, and they're just, they're phenomenal, so that's we're really excited about having them. Obviously, we've got our silent auction and we've got a, the full-blown meal and everything else that's going on here and we're just looking forward to a really great night. The annual fundraiser helps make the Orion Lighted Parade one of the biggest and best parades in the state, if not the country. For the community, you know, we just, we uh, want to try to give back and, and, you know, this time of year it's all about the kids and so if we can help put on the biggest and best lighted parade in the state of Michigan, we think that's a big deal. Um, we have some influence over the children in the community. Thank you very much. This community does and comes through for every charity around here. And this is a great group. There's a lot of people I've never seen here before. So I, it's, it's a great thing and it's a great way to start the holiday season. 24 hours later, thousands of residents from in and around Lake Orion lined the streets of the downtown area for the Orion Lighted Parade. Approximately 70 parade entries gathered at Blanche Sims Elementary School and made their way into the heart of the village at 6 p.m. The parade passed the main stage at Front Street and Broadway, where John Cooper and Rock and Ronnie provided the commentary. The Grand Marshals of this year's parade were Lloyd and Kathy Coe, who own Ed's Broadway gift and costume located on the corner of Flint and Broadway. The Coes provide the costumes for many of the colorful characters that greet the families lined up along the route. The Citizen of the Year was Jerry Norsch, who served the community as police chief for almost 40 years before retiring and is currently the village council president. The parade featured colorful floats, marching bands, community groups, and military vehicles and ran just over an hour, concluding, as always, with Santa and Mrs. Claus bringing up the rear. So wonderful. So happy to have you here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Thank you for all you do for all the kids. Merry Christmas, we'll, we'll see you at the Santa Tent afterwards. After the parade was over, families were encouraged to head over to a tent set up at Broadway and Chatbolt to meet up with Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Rudolph for a photo opportunity and to share their Christmas wish list. It brings everybody together. It brings 7,000 people who come down to view it, and then it brings another 100 or not 100,000 people that are probably participating or working it or doing whatever. That's a lot of people in one time for one night for three hours. And I think that I've had a lot of people tell me, even when I'm walking up and down the street, that this parade, this event, starts their holiday season. And it makes them want to get into the holidays. And as we do every year, Owen TV had a TV crew at the parade to record it in its entirety. Look for the parade to air on Comcast and AT&T, as well as on YouTube and the Owen TV website at orionowentv.org. Although the Lake Orion community enjoys the spirit of giving all year long, it's especially strong during the holiday season. Owen TV's Tessa Penzine visited one local business who is teaming up with community groups to help keep those in need warm this winter. On Tuesday, November 28th, 
representatives of the Knights of Columbus arrived at Northern Wholesale Flooring to donate 72 new coats to Operation Warm. The coat drive is run by the owner of Northern Wholesale Flooring, Matt Pfeiffer. Operation Warm relies on donations from community partners like the Knights of Columbus, as well as the general public to get warm clothing to Lake Orion families. We are here because we live in a great giving community that loves to make sure that all of our friends and neighbors are well taken care of. So with the help of the American Legion, we are doing, I'm sorry, and the Knights of Columbus, American Legion helps us too, but the Knights of Columbus today have brought us 72 brand new coats for kids in our community that are less fortunate maybe than a lot of us that could be watching, uh, uh, watching the program. So uh, that's why we're here. We're here to make sure that everybody has warmth and has comfort and they can enjoy the winter season that we are uh, blessed with here in Michigan. In 2022, the Knights of Columbus provided the coat drive with two dozen coats and were able to greatly increase this year's donation. The organization works to help Lake Orion residents in need with fundraising and volunteer efforts throughout the year. Well, the Knights of Columbus is a charitable organization. We're actually one of the largest in the world. And uh, we go out and uh, secure donations so that we can afford to buy uh, coats and along with uh, help from our state uh, councils and, and Supreme Nation uh, Council, we're able to get 74 quotes this year. And uh, we do this as uh, part of our, uh, our uh, motto is go out, secure money, and then give it away as donations. Once the donations are collected, Matt Pfeiffer works alongside local groups to make sure the coats get to the people that need them as quickly and efficiently as possible. So we work with several groups in the area. We work with the Lake Orion schools, and if they have specific needs in the schools where they know kids that are in need of uh, new jackets, they'll, they'll reach out to us. We also work with, uh, we have some contacts at the um, Salvation Army, and they do specific family select, so it doesn't just go into a Salvation Army for sale. It actually goes to specific families that are signed up and requesting specific help. Uh, so we go, go through there. And then we also use our village food pantry at Canterbury Village, where we supply food to our neighbors and friends in need. Um, we also supply coats, hats, and gloves through that process. So those are the three areas that we distribute through um, currently. But if anybody is in need, they can reach out to me if they have a specific need for coats, hats, or gloves. We can also help them by supplying them directly with, uh, with what they need. If you have gently used hats, gloves, and coats in all sizes for all ages, you can drop them off at Northern Wholesale Flooring located at 118 Indianwood Road, near M24. They will be accepting donations all the way until the end of the year. For more information, you can call Northern Wholesale Flooring at 248-693-9457. This is Tessa Penzine reporting for ONTV News. Thanks, Tessa. And finally, the Orient Area Chamber of Commerce has wrapped up another year of ribbon-cutting ceremonies with more than 15 new local businesses opening their doors are celebrating milestones. The final ribbon-cutting of 2023 took place at a business that serves our aging population. On Thursday, November 30th, dignitaries and representatives of the Chamber of Commerce gathered at Orient Oaks Assisted Living and Memory Care for a ribbon-cutting ceremony. One, two, three, Orient! I just want to start by saying, uh, you know, we're in the care business, and uh, it's, it's a different than any other business, really. You know, we care uh, uh, for people. Most people think we care for people, but really, we've got to care about people, and that's what we do. And we care tremendously about the people who live here. I don't even like the word resident. We, they're just people. They're people who live here, and and we have people who work here. And we're all just trying to get along. <laughs> and, and we're all just trying to have a quality of life. And that's what we're about. The staff of the facility describes Orient Oaks as an active, dynamic part of society with classes, dining, entertainment, and even retail within the community, despite any limitations its residents may experience. Oh, uh, any of you have gone through a cycle with loved ones, many of you? It's not easy. And. Uh, uh, and especially as those later stages go, it's, it's tough. But that's why we're here. And we're here to take that pressure off of 
the person who lives here, and the family member in France. So you can come, and we can do the day-to-day, -day, and we can do the tough stuff, and you can spend that hour or two or three with your loved one. You know, we like to say, you know, stress-free, or and that, that's a real reason we're here. Orient Oaks Assisted Living and Memory Care is located at 3451 Clarkson Road near Baldwin. For more information, you can call 248-688-7464 or visit OrionOaksAssistedLiving.com. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Thanks for watching.